everybody, it's your girl Classy Chassie checking in from Avenue Pink. We're right here at the second annual Hip Hop for Life. That's right. And we're right here with my man Bentley. He's in the place to be. So what's up? How you doing today? I'm great. You know, I'm, I'm excited. I mean, I always love being in New York. In New York. And, uh, <laughs> but more importantly, I just think that, you know, even the reason that you're here is because it's a great cause. And, you know, empowering the youth and, you know, getting them to strive to excellence. And I think one of the interesting thing is when I add, when the first thing I said to the, to, the, to, the, to the youth out there, I said, how many of you guys want to be excellent by show of hands? And I didn't get many hands. Most wow. of them said successful. Mm -hmm. So it seems as though it's so about the money. Right. It's so about the money. And I guess that somehow something didn't translate through their school and their excellence. Right. You're going to get paid if you're excellent. So, and doing I don't know. what you love. Right, and doing what you love. So that, you know, I don't know. They, you know, I, I think that that's why these are important, and that's why, you know, I wanted to make sure to, you know, give my time to be here uh, to do our part. And I think that ultimately that's what the president wants us to do, all of us to do our part. Absolutely. And I think you definitely relayed that message. So yeah. thank you for being here thank and speaking you. to the youth. Um, we want to know what do you have coming up? I know you took time out of your busy schedule to be here today, which is very important. But what do you have coming up in the near future? Well, I've been spending, uh, obviously, we're going to be working on the third season of, of From G to Jansen. Yes. I'm just really excited that... Love the show. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really excited, first of all, that, you know, it's uh, it's been so successful because right. it's a show that actually does some good. Absolutely. You know, this is something that actually is inspiring folks to excellence and teaching some real lessons that they may have not gotten either at home or at school and shows in 40 countries worldwide right now and it's just really exciting Absolutely. Um, so we're going to be doing that I, that's going to be uh, the third season in the fall uh, but I've been focusing a lot of my time on uh, putting out the cool outrageous lovers of uniquely raw style all right you heard that, that, that was yeah, yeah. a little extra flossy yeah, right just there a little, just, just a little just extra a little on it. now if you could talk to any of the other entertainers right now in the entertainment industry and tell them how important it was for you to come out today and give back what would you charge them with today with coming back to the communities and giving back well I just think you know ultimately you're standing on the shoulders of someone else, your right. mother, your your grandparents, and then it goes back all the way to your ancestors. And knowing that, you know, I think that, you know, I think that they did a much better job of instilling a lot of knowledge in the youth. I mean, that's the right. reason that hip hop was the way that it was, or they even came with an idea such as Absolutely. genius like that. And so I would just urge all of you to, you know what, it didn't take much time at all, you know, uh, you know, but I actually spent more time because I saw an 11 year old spoken word artist that even inspired me, you know, and I, you know, I, you know, just seeing some of the faces and hearing some of the stories from some of the kids here, you know, and it's, this is literally the, the streets. This is the streets. You know what I mean? And so you got to get out there and let them know that you care because they know ultimately what this is about. And we have an interesting credibility with them. Right. And so when you tell them things, you know, sometimes it'll come off even different than hearing it from their parents or their teachers. So, so you know, I think we ultimately, you know, all of that, I ain't got to be no role models for your parents. That's whack. It's whack. You know, there's not lack of role models, there's really lack of responsibility and I think ultimately all of us need to be doing our part to make sure we come back and, you know, just take some time and give some encouraging words. Now what's that noise? <laughs> what is that noise? Now we're all out here today for the Youth Fest. Yes. Uh, Def Jam just celebrated their 25th anniversary. Yeah. Where do you see hip hop going in the next 25 years and how do you want to impact the world of hip hop? Well, I think it's, we're in an interesting time right now. One of the things that has happened is, I believe the power is now back in the artists. I think that because, you know, all of these different systems on the radio and the same songs are on the radio, right. I think, you know, folks are really searching and folks are sharing music. And so they're finding out about different artists that aren't on the radio. Right. And they're enjoying that type of music. And so I think, you know, the power is going to be back in the artists. And so for you to be a more obscure artist and for you to be a, a, a real talent and to have a live show, a real live show that's right. entertaining, I think that it's really going to come back to that. I think the music is about to be at the forefront of it, you know, as 
far as me and, 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 and my project, you know, I've spent a lot of time making sure I had the right colors on a particular palette. You right. know, I think a lot of times, you know, unfortunately for, for folks that are um, fans of hip hop, folks are like, all right, who hot right now? Let's put them on the hook. <laughs> right. And what sound they doing here? Give me an up tempo. Give me, I need something between 110 and 115. You know what I'm saying? That's right. whack. Whack. You know what I mean? Unoriginal. So, you know, I think, you know, um, you know, I'm going to give, it, it, it's an eclectic style music, you know, I put virally out there, you know, a year ago, the Everybody video, which was the first time Kanye West and Andre 3000 ever worked together. I was really excited to get at to you guys. The major labels did not do that. They kept telling me <laughs> it couldn't happen and it would cost too much money. And I was able to make it happen. And it was a, a, an incredible moment. And I think they enjoyed it, you know. And so, you know, I think that, again, like I said, the, the, the power is about to be back in the artists. And right. I just just urge folks out there to just keep pushing and don't settle you know and you know go back and listen to it and think about how you could have possibly said that better right you know and you know think about the music first you know don't think about who's hot right now who may help you get radio spins and think about ultimately who you are because because my project I, I know who I am and I right. know what my voice is and so I'm not going to dilute that message or dilute my brand for any of that and folks will come and when they come to the show, I'm murking. <laughs> He's going crazy. Now, last question. Where can people check you out? I know you said you put your music out there virally. Where can they check you out? How can they get in touch with you? Did I say how I was going to murk yet? Did I speak <laughs> you about did. Oh, Okay. You all said right, how you was going to murk. Right, I just went, I went somewhere. <laughs> I went somewhere. Uh, yeah, well, I actually, I, it is a good music project. Kanye West is definitely executive producing the project. But I went, with a, I went with an indie label because I just felt like, they they're really they really get me and they mm -hmm. really are championing me and you know some of the other places that I went I don't I, I, I don't feel that they got it you know right. what I mean and a lot of these labels man like they're working 30 records right. at one given time somebody's record just ain't gonna get no attention and somebody's project is just not gonna get that attention right. and because you know I have a real point of view and a real message that is really, you know, seeping into to, to the culture. Absolutely. I want to make sure that, that the voice is heard and that it's not tainted whatsoever. And this way I can do it the way I want to. So this is a good music E1 Koch situation. Awesome. Um, go to cooloutrageous.com to check my forum. I do not like the term blog. Uh-oh. So it's safe that, to say you're not a Twitter. Yeah. Oh, I, like a like a mug. I be Twitter. <laughs> You're a Twitter bug. I'm a, I, I am I am a bit of a Twitter bug. More like That's a Twitter. Okay, I'm like too. a I'm a Twitter penguin. Twitter I'm a twin. I'm a Twitter penguin. Uh, you can you can see me at Cool Outrageous. Don't tell everybody. Don't tell I don't everybody. want everybody. Just just you know what I'm saying. Me. I would, I would just want you know what I'm saying. Just them, you know what I mean. The, the cool people. Outrageous folks to so to rock with me really. Awesome. You know and uh, yeah. That's what's up. Well, we're going to rock with you on Twitter. Avenue Pink is definitely going to be in the place. We want to thank you again for this thank interview. You. You're awesome. Can't thank wait you. to get the music. Thank you. And you guys check them out. Bentley right here. Next season of G's to Gents. Can't yep. wait for that. Yep. And, and you'll be able to check them out there, too. And the last thing I'd like to say to all of you is remember who you are and whose you are. And mm. seek ye first in the kingdom of God, and all other things will be added unto you. That is how you will be able to live out your dreams. All that other stuff, I don't know about all that. I can just tell you what has been working for me. And it's working. Look at this ensemble. We just check it out. I mean, classy chassis is classy, but that brother is fly. Do you hear me? He's doing Peace. his thing. Peace. Peace. What's happening? It's your boy Bentley, AKA Cool Outrageous Lovers of Uniquely Raw Style. And I'm in the building, and I'm holding down Avenue Pink. Anybody say anything slightly sideways about Avenue Pink or anybody affiliated, I'm upside your head with a sport jacket. <laughs>